So. I'm, I'm John Capron, and uh, welcome to Windier Manufacturing. This is the home of the uh, Lanesboro GT, Lanesboro box trap, the uh, what we call the GT100. Uh, it's kind of the heart of our operation here. We, my son and I took uh, a good chunk of, uh, of the summer a couple of years ago to uh, get this running, and we bring steel in in coils. Over there, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yep. Um, and feeds into the end of this machine. Do that another time for a slightly different piece. So this all runs off of an air compressor. It's this all, all runs off all air pneumatic. Air. Mm -hmm. So did you guys custom design this machine? We started from scratch. Yes. Wow. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it was uh, it was a quite a quite a struggle to get it to work. But this is the spot welder that we use to do uh, do the welding. Okay. To uh, uh, wind our own springs. So what's that machine do right there? This one? Yeah. This is a riveter. Oh, okay. Um, I can actually illustrate that if you like. Where do you use that in the process? Yeah, so. that, uh... Oh, the rivets right, right, right here. Ah, okay. You know what I could actually do if you're interested? I can take a... I can actually complete a trap here. The other thing that's kind of the... We wind our own springs. Uh-huh. We get wire in, cut to length, and we put this bend in it, and then we put it in this machine, and some of this is still kind of developmental. What's that? I said some of this is still kind of developmental. But we're still still working on it, making it better. But there's the start of the spring. And then we put it in this machine. Oh. So have you seen a blueprint for any other process like this anywhere else? No. So you invented this? Pretty much invented it, yeah. Wow. Trial and error. And, uh, oh, that's cool. I've worked on it off and on for, well, I was, I was studying for an engineering degree in college. 30 years ago, I uh, I worked on some of the process. <laughs> At one time, incorporated some of that work. So you like uh, using pneumatics? Yes, it's it's cleaner and the, all, the options are hydraulic or pneumatic. And the leaks are a lot less messy with pneumatics. Yeah. So, uh, then we start take the, the trap, or take the spring, I mean. And we put it in a, put it on the trap like this. So are you a gopher fan? Uh, well, I guess you could say that. Uh, <laughs> my son. You build traps to catch them. I, yes, and then I'm also a, uh, also graduated from the University of Minnesota. So oh, okay. You know, what can I say? <laughs> This is one of the, this is the rest of the piece that we, that we have. So, so is there another model out there similar to this at all? Uh, not anymore. Similar? There used to be a smaller model, and we've been, we've gotten some requests to make the, make one like it. In fact, I've actually got a sample. Do you specifically focus on these types of traps, or do you make we, others? No, uh, we do not make others. Yes, we do focus specifically on these. Uh, and right now we make all we can, we sell all we can make, mm -hmm. so it, we haven't really had a lot of... Uh, what, what area do you sell them in? Um, primarily upper Midwest, uh, Minnesota, Iowa, western Wisconsin, 
uh, eastern Dakotas down into um, from Nebraska, 